Accra Regia, experimentating with gold. At first, nitric acid and hydrochloric acid are mixed together to form Accra Regia. Now, I put a piece of gold into the mixture. Due to the low concentration of the nitric acid, the Accra Regia must be heated a bit to become more reactive. Now you can see the mixture turning yellow, which is caused by nitrous oxides. These nitrous oxides are produced by the reaction of the acroregia with the gold. Now it's visible that this solution is able to dissolve gold. The reaction of the acroregia with the gold forms tetrachloroboric 3 acid and nitrogen dioxide. More and more heat is added to the mixture, and the mixture gets more reactive. After heating, now you can see the reaction is self-sustaining. Here you can see the nitrous oxide bubbling off the gold. To stop the reaction, I separate the acroregia from the rest of the gold. To stop further reactions of the gold with the rest of acroregia, I pour some water onto the gold. Here you can see the corroded gold. And here's the rest of the acroregia and the orochloric acid. Now, to look if there is really gold in the solution, the liquid part of the solution is vaporized. The orochloric acid settles down on the inside of the glass. By adding more heat, the orochloric acid decomposes to gold and some chlorine, which also evaporates from the test tube. The rest of the gold keeps on the glass, forming a mirror. Now, something really interesting about gold is that it is able to form colloidal solutions. The interesting about colloidal gold is that it forms purple solutions. In the end, I am purifying the orochloric acid by boiling it with hydrochloric acid. This gels a pure orochloric acid solution. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and if you want, subscribe my channel.